Hey everyone, it's Dale from Press to Cook, and today we're diving into the world of KitchenAid fridges. Ever had that moment when your fridge just isn't cooperating? Maybe it's a little too warm or the ice maker's on strike? Don't worry, because I've got you covered with some top tips and tricks for resetting your KitchenAid fridge. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button so you never miss out on all the kitchen wisdom I'm serving up. All right, let's get into it. First things first, why might you need to reset your KitchenAid fridge? Sometimes it's due to a power outage, a glitch, or even just general maintenance. Resetting can solve issues like temperature problems, ice or water dispenser malfunctions, or even display errors. It's like giving your fridge a little reboot. Now let's talk about the basic reset. This one's super simple. Unplug your fridge from the wall, wait for about 5-10 minutes and then plug it back in. This can help reset the internal systems and clear out any minor glitches. Think of it as turning your fridge off and on again. But what if you need a more specific reset? KitchenAid fridges often come with a control panel that can be your best friend in these situations. Find the panel usually located inside the fridge or on the door. Look for a button labelled Reset or Filter Reset. Hold this button down for about 3, 5 seconds and you should see the lights blink or hear a beep. Voila! You've just reset your fridge filter or control panel. Now if your fridge has a water filter you might need to reset that too. After replacing the filter press and hold the filter reset button for a few seconds. This tells your fridge that it's got a fresh new filter and everything's good to go. And trust me, clean water is a beautiful thing. Ever wondered about resetting the ice maker? Here's a hot tip, there's often a reset button somewhere near the ice maker itself. It might be a small red button, hold it down and you should hear the motor start to whir. That means your ice maker is back in action. Ice, ice baby. For those of you with a digital control panel, resetting can be a bit different. You may need to press a combination of buttons like power and light or ice type and water at the same time. Check your user manual for the exact combo because it can vary by model. Once you press those buttons, the display should reset and any error codes should clear. Now, a quick word on error codes. If you see any on your display, don't panic. Common ones include PO for power outage or E codes for various errors. Most manuals have a section that explains these codes and what you can do about them. Sometimes a simple reset is all it takes to clear them out. All right, let's wrap this up with some pro tips. Regular maintenance can prevent many issues. Make sure to clean the coils at the back of your fridge at least once a year. Check the door seals to make sure they're tight and not letting cold air escape. And always replace water filters as recommended. There you have it, a comprehensive guide to resetting your KitchenAid fridge. I hope you found these tips helpful and that your fridge is now running smoother than ever. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you all. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Press to Cook and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more kitchen tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.